Hello everyone, welcome to Hopeful Turns. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you the pattern for a crochet fruit slice. So here I have made a watermelon fruit slice, an orange and a lemon fruit slice. Now all the three are using the same pattern. It's just that you're going to play with the colors to make the fruit slice. Now if you want, you can turn this into a keychain, a back charm, or even use uh, this as toys for your kids. This will work absolutely great as Montessori material also. So let's see the supplies first and then we'll head over to the pattern. Now for this here, I have used some cotton yarn. These are all DK weight cotton yarn, but any weight yarn or any type yarn would work for this. Uh, it's just that I prefer cotton when it comes to amigurumi. It's not a hardcore amigurumi, uh, but um, if you are making amigurumis, cotton is a much preferred yarn because it has great texture. Uh, so that's why I prefer cotton. But it's totally optional. If you want, you can use acrylic. These are all uh, DK weight. So for that, I have used a size 3.5 mm or size E crochet hook. So whatever yarn you use, use a smaller hook size because you want your stitches to be tighter. Don't want the stuffing to show out. Now, apart from that, you would require a pair of scissors, a yarn needle and a stitch marker. Now, stitch marker is totally optional. If you want, uh, you can replace it with some safety pin also and some fiber fill. Now, if you do not have this stuffing fiber fill, you can use some scrap yarns for the filling part. Now, if you want to make it into a keychain, uh, you might need a key ring. Okay, so these are the materials that you would require. Now, if you're ready, we can get started. But before that, a small request. If at any point in the video you like what you see, please do not forget to press on the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. If you're looking for some really simple, easy uh, crochet patterns or amigurumi patterns, I do have a few. You can find all the links in the description box. Now, let's just get started. So we'll start this pattern with a magic circle. So to make a magic circle, you take your yarn, loop it around your finger like an X. Once you have that, take your hook, pass your hook through the loop that is there on your finger and then pull your working yarn through like this. So this here is your magic circle. Once you have your magic circle, make one chain stitch to lock it. Okay. Now, if you want some more help with the magic circle, you can click on the link that is coming up here. I have a very detailed tutorial on how to do the magic circle. All right. So here we have got a magic circle. We have chain one. Now I'm going to put eight single crochet into the magic circle. For a single crochet, just insert your hook, pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through both. So this here is my first single crochet. I'll make my second single crochet like this. I'm going to make a total of eight single crochet for round one. I also do have separate tutorial of a tutorial for this single crochet. So if you are a beginner and need some help with the single crochet, you can find the link in the description box. You can check that out. Okay. So I think I have made eight single crochet. I'll just give this a count. One, two, three, four five six seven eight and the starting chain one okay so here i've got my eight single crochet now what i'll do is i'll just finish off this round by making a slip stitch into the first single crochet we have a chain one just ignore that find the first single crochet of this round now this might be a little bit tight okay so into the first single crochet you have to slip stitch so just pull your yarn through both the loops to make a slip stitch so here our round one is completed. We'll move on to round two. So for round two, we are starting with chain one. And here the pattern will be an increase. That is, we are going to put two single crochet in every stitch. So we'll do that. So here, the very same stitch where we have done the chain one. There, I'm going to put my two single crochet. So this here is my first single crochet. And in the same stitch, I'm going to place one more single crochet. So two single crochet are going in the same stitch. Now at this point, I'm just going to mark my first stitch. It's not necessary, uh, but if you are a beginner, it would be good practice to mark your first stitch. Here you have a chain one. Here are the first two single crochets. 
now we'll move on to the next stitch here so into the second stitch again I'm going to put two single crochet so this is one and in the same stitch I'm going to put another single crochet like this come to the next stitch here again put two single crochet so like this in every stitch you can put two single crochet so I'll just continue this making two single crochet in every stitch and I'll join you at the end of round two so here I'm at the end of round two and once you finish round two you should be having a total of 16 single crochet now once you are finishing this round two you might be tempted to put a single crochet in the very last stitch also uh, that is not at all required uh, this has already been taken care of this is actually the first stitch a part of the first stitch of the previous round and this here is your chain one now if you have any confusion just count back check whether you have 16 single crochet if you have that's well and good we can just finish off this round by slip stitching into the very first stitch where our stitch marker was I'm just going to go into the first stitch and then slip stitch to join okay so that completes round two we will move on to round three now round three again we are going to start with chain one and here the pattern will be one single crochet followed by two single crochet so one two one two is the pattern for this round so we we'll go ahead and start into the first stitch where our chain one was okay so this is our first stitch if you want you can mark just in case okay so that has been done into the next stitch put two single crochet so one and in the same stitch one more and you can repeat the pattern you can make one single crochet followed by Two single crochet in the next stitch so here I'll put an increase or two single crochet so I'll just go ahead and repeat the pattern making one single crochet followed by two single crochet so I'll join you at the end of this round and once you finish this you will have a total of 24 single crochets so here I'm at the end of round three and now I have a total of 24 single crochet here again you might have a confusion if there is just count back and check whether you have 24 single crochets at this point I'm just going to completely close off the magic circle I didn't close it off before because otherwise the stitches might get really tight when you are working round two that's why I didn't close it before okay so round three is done we will just slip stitch into the first stitch of this round to complete the round three we'll move on to round four so round four we are again starting with chain one and the pattern for this round is we will make one single crochet one single crochet and then an increase so one one two is the pattern for this round we will start here in the same stitch where we had done chain one the very first stitch we'll start with one single crochet in the next stitch also just put one single crochet and then you put Two single crochet so one one two is the pattern for this round if you feel the need you can just mark your stitch so this is one one two this the, here is the chain one just ignore that and mark your first stitch it's not totally necessary that you have to mark but if you are a beginner it's a good practice all right so I'll just complete this pattern making one single crochet one single crochet and then an increase so whenever I'm referring to increase it just means two single crochet going in the same stitch so I'll complete this and I'll join you at the end of this round so here I'm at the end of round four and once you finish round four you should have a total of 32 single crochet I'll just take my stitch marker out and then slip stitch into the very first stitch of this round okay so that completes round four and at this point I'm going to cut my yarn so after you finish round four you can cut your yarn I'll just take this out all right now we'll move on to the next color so I'll start with my white color so here I have got my white color this is where I have cut my yarn I'm going to start that point itself so where we had slip stitch at that point I'm going to insert my hook and I'm going to pull my white yarn through it so this is how you can change your color for other uh, slices like lemon or 
for orange also whenever you're changing color you can do like this i'm going to chain one so this gets attached to this place all right now the pattern for this round will be uh, you have to make three single crochet and then an increase so one 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 and then two that is the pattern for this round so we'll do that so into the very first stitch there itself i'm going to start with a single crochet one second i'll just tidy this up just pull on this the end so that the stitches is tight okay so one single crochet is done second single crochet is done and one more three so here i have put three single crochets next i'm going to make an increase stitch so make two single crochet one and in the same stitch make one more so this is the pattern that we'll be following for this round we'll make three single crochet and then an increase so we'll do that so one in the next stitch also just one so one two and here is the third single crochet i have made three single crochet and then i'm going to make an increase so make two single crochet in the next stitch so you can follow this pattern making three single crochet and then an increase stitch i'm at the end of round five and once you finish round five you should have a total of 40 single crochet now we'll finish off this round you can see this is the chain one just ignore that go into the very first single crochet of this round and then slip stitch okay so just slip stitch to join and we can cut our yarn here so just cut it off okay. and then we will move on to the very last round so i'm going to use my green color to make the very last round so i'll just take that so i'm just going to uh, change the color exactly the same way so with the green color i'll just insert it to the point where i have cut my yarn and just pull the yarn through i hope you'll be able to see it properly because i think the white was a bit difficult to see okay so i've just pulled my yarn here and then i'm going to make chain one so this is how you can change your color now for this round there are no increases you're just going to put one single crochet in every stitch so right where you have done your chain one there you start with one single crochet I'll just pull on this end so that it is neat okay so one single crochet has done i'll just take the yarn ends along with me when i'm making one single crochet just go and make one single crochet in every stitch there are no increases just put one single crochet in every stitch around and once you finish this round you'll have again 40 single crochet so i'll just complete this round and i'll join you at the end of round six so this is how it is so here i'm at the end of round six and now i have a total of 40 single crochet now in order to finish off this round i'll just go into the very first stitch and then slip stitch to join so that completes of this round now uh, if you want to make this into just a slice without a keychain or a loop here what you can do is you can just cut a long tail but if you want to make a small loop to hang in somewhere uh, you might have to make seven chain stitch so once this is done either you can cut your yarn and when you cut it make it a little bit uh, longer because we are going to fold this up and then stitch it uh, in case you do you are not looking for a loop you are just looking for a say, plain simple slice uh, but i'm going to show you how to make the loop so i'm going to make seven chain stitch one two three four five six and seven okay so here i've got my seven chain stitch i'll come back to the same stitch and then slip stitch again so just make a slip stitch in the same stitch so this will create a loop here you can either hang it up or put a key ring so that's up to you now once you are done with this we can cut our yarn so i'm going to cut a long tail because we want this yarn to stitch up stitch this up okay so cut a long tail 
all right so that is done you have a small loop here the only thing i didn't put is a loop here i just cut the yarn once i finished the round so that's the difference i just wanted to point it out okay now the thing is done you can just fold it and then stitch it up and stuff it but before that we are going to make the seeds so in case you are making the lemon or the orange you might want to make a few lines so i just made a, a couple of lines here here we are going to make seeds so for that i'm going to take my black yarn uh, since i didn't have a black yarn i have taken embroidery floss i have doubled this up and we are going to make the seeds you can place the seeds randomly there is no hard and fast rules where the seeds should go it's just that we are going to fold this up so this is how it will be so you might want to place your seeds so i'll just randomly place the seeds i'm just pulling it till here we will finally knot this down so just let this be here okay and i'm using one round one top to bottom round to make one seed so that is how long or big my seed will be like this i'll just come to another stitch and make sorry for the noise some construction is happening can't help it so just bear with the background noise of banging okay so i'm just going to make a couple of seeds here like this um you can just randomly put it i'll make this a few more seeds and then i'll show you how to finish this off and then we'll stitch it up okay so it will be somewhat like this so here i have put in a few stitches for the seeds and this looks fine to me if you just fold it this is how it will be i think this is enough for me uh, so it depends on your choice how many you want to i know the back side is a mess but we are just going to hide this up all together so with the two ends i'm just going to knot this down and we will cut it off okay so that's it for the seeds part uh, so if you are using the melon uh, i mean the lemon or the orange you might have to make diagonal lines that is the only difference between the two here we are making small seeds okay so this part is done now we'll move on to the very last part so for that we are going to just fold this up and stitch these two sides together now if you see here when i'm folding it here if you see we have this kind of v's so here we have a front loop and here is a back loop so we'll be using the back loop of this side and if you see it like this here is another v of this slice so this will be the front loop and this will be the back loop so we will be using the front loop of this side so if you see here we'll be using this loop the back loop of this part and here the front loop of this part so this is how we'll be joining these two uh, sides okay so we'll start that okay so this is where our first stitch is attached and if you see here this is the same stitch that both of it goes so just fold this up together so just use the first stitch of this side and pull okay come to your next stitch so if you see here this is the front this is the back i'm using the back loop of this side and the front loop of this side that is the loops that are facing together we are using that to stitch this up so you can just go ahead and stitch these two together till you reach the other end so like this i'm going to stitch it up once more i'll show you i'm going to use the back loop from this side and the front loop of this side the loops that are close to each other and stitch this up so you can go ahead and stitch it up i'll come uh, and then we'll be doing the stuffing part when we have the last four or five stitches left so i'll just show you how to do that when we reach the other end so i just make the stitches here so here i have got a few more stitches left so before i stitch this up completely i'm going to fill this up now if you want you can use some scrap yarns also for the filling i'm just using some fiber fi fiber fill to fill this up and when you're filling it don't uh, tightly pack it up you don't want like a ball it should be like a slice so i would say when you are doing this don't stuff it don't stuff too much you don't want it to turn it into a ball 
so keep it lightly stuffed that would be the best thing to do and then you can just uh, shape it if it is lightly stuffed if you stuff it too much then it is difficult to shape okay I think this is fine for me and I'll just continue with the rest of the stitching part and then we'll hide in the tape so just do that with you okay okay I think I have split my yarn here okay I'll just continue to do this <coughs> sorry so just as we were doing the back loop and the front loop of the two sides you can do I'm just running short of my yarn okay so we are almost at the end all right I managed and one last stitch at the very end that should be enough now we'll just hide in so what I'll do is I'll just go through the stitches and take it out I'll go once again just try to go inside and try to hide in the yarn so that it gets lost there okay and then you can cut the remaining Okay. So if it is, if you are able to see, just poke this inside so that it is not much visible. So there, our watermelon slice is ready. Now you can use a key ring and make it into a keychain. So you can use either of this. Anything will work fine. So you can just attach it here, or you can use the normal plain key ring also. Anything will work fine. Uh, so yeah, that was the tutorial how to do this slice. I'll just repeat how to uh, what change you should be making if you are making a lemon or an orange slice. The pattern is the same. So if you see here uh, for the strawberry, uh, sorry, for the watermelon, uh, we had made the first four rounds in red. But if you are making an orange or a lemon, the first round will be in white. The next three rounds will be in orange fourth will be in white and fifth again will be in orange the remaining everything is same you just have to play with the color and then instead of the seeds you are making this uh, diagonal lines so that is the only difference between uh, the two so yeah that was the tutorial on how to do this fruit slices i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed making it and if at all you're making one please do tag me i would love to see your pictures i leave all my social media handle links in the description box so that's all for today's tutorial see you in another video until then bye bye thank you for watching